What's up guys, Evan 47 here. Welcome to Watch for Plus. Got more content coming your way. So the, this show we're reviewing is called Chichi Hero Toki. And it's a very short two minute 28 overall series. I mean, you can like wham and bam this and like, why are you eating dinner? Why are you cooking dinner? Why are your fish is in the oven? This is a really quick one. And this brings up a really interesting topic because I've noticed I looked in the comments and here's the comments below, and I've noticed a lot of the distress from the second episode. Because first episode was fine to them apparently, but the second episode is where everything kind of because one thing I've noticed with this community is that tags are really important because people like what they like. If people like scat, they want that in their face. If people like NTR, that's all they want. If they like ugly bastard, that's all they want. And the opposite actually, if none of that's included, yet none of the tags suggest that, then they're gonna be in a world of hurt. Now this one does not fit into any of the scenarios whatsoever. I would say they're being overly cautious because for example, it says water sports in one of the tags. What does, what do you think that means? And people were surprised that that happened. So that, that's, that's hilarious to me. So basically to start off, we have Takashi here, who's known as this philanthropist playboy in this entire village. And you know, he's just going through every single person you can see. His childhood friend and Mika are both like, God damn it. Why is he always going to every girl but us? Oh my God, this is so sad and depressing. I wish I could do something about it. Lo and behold, after Takashi clears out the entire village, he comes to them and decides, you know, it's time for them to see what he's been practicing with. Now, they don't really show us what he's been doing the entire time, which I mean, I guess it's kind of good because that'd be exhausting to go through like every single. But then again, that could be the series for itself, right? The prequel could be like, this is what I was doing before I met them or this is what I was doing after. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that could be a thing. If you're going to do that, pay me, please. But they won't because guess what? This is a 2014 animation, smooth transition. I know I'm just so, mm, so perfect. So that happened, right? And him and his other childhood friend, which they don't mention the name, by the way, I'm pretty sure the name is there, but I'm not going to look any further because this, this, this is pretty straightforward. Um, Mika notices that Takashi and his childhood friend went through with one another. And the thing is they had a love triangle the entire time. So whoever breaks the love triangle first with him at the top and they're at the bottom, Basically, they won. It's a little competition joke, right? At this point, Mika just, she isn't really feeling anything, right? So, for the second episode after they went at it, Takashi went out with his childhood friend, who was also Mika's childhood friend, by the way. And also Takashi fantasized of going out of both of them nonstop for years. So that's a, a thing. He fantasizes the thought of her going to a hotel with like older men, like in their fifties, ugly bastard style. And then they're just going through multiple scenes, multiple sets, multiple condominiums. And I'm sitting there like, did this really happen? Right? I'm like, damn, that happened. That's, that's kind of funny. Cause like the shoe has flipped. The tables have turned. You were going out there and doing this exact same thing, but now all of a sudden when she does it, it's bad, right? It's oh my god, it's so bad. So it, that's I'm like, ah, it's funny. You deserve that. But they end up going at it, meeting in the park. She's like, oh, I saw you with my friend who was your friend too. See, so like she the whole scene there. She's rot with jealousy, rightfully so, because they did it while she was in the house. Oh, she's taking a shower, mind you. That's kind of, that's kind of rude, bro. Like, at least wait, at least wait till she leaves. You know what I'm saying? Now he pulls his ultimate trap car move, which is basically just fondling them. And then one thing leads to another: voyeurism. Voyeurism in episode two. I think that's the entire episode two for that scene there. And remember water sports? Yeah, this is what happened <laughs> basically in episode two. And there are comments again that dude was just mad at that. I think I think I only saw one in particular, but I just found that so hilarious because I click on the water sports tag, right? And lo and behold, I found pigeon blood. Now, if you don't know anything about pigeon blood on this channel, I mentioned every other video because that is the most like mentally scarring video I've ever seen in my life. I might rewatch it and like review it again on my second channel, but that 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 <laughs> I honestly think that made me want to like keep going further to see if I could find any more depraved than that because I've only found a couple more depraved than that in general. I still hold that as number one. Yeah, that, that one just displays all type of fecal matter at all times. So if, if, if you aren't seeing fecal matter, then the show probably isn't on. That's pretty much what pigeon blood is. And it has a water sports tag. So I feel like if you see a tag that you don't know what it's about, you probably should click on it. Try to 
you know, do some math and see if you've seen any similar shows on the tag like I did, boom, know exactly what it's about. Because like, what else does Chichiro Irotoki and Pigeon Blood have in common? Literally nothing. So yeah, other than that though, you know, it's, it's, it, it has like the weird aesthetic of like, uh, gropey, 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 like that type of shit, like the sexual ratchet. But like the thing is like, it doesn't really matter. It cancels out because all the girls were f madly in love with him. And like every single bad action he's ever done, it's irrelevant because again, they were madly in love with him. This man was out here like sniffing their underwear, like while they're eating. And he was trying to hide it from them because he was guilty. But it didn't matter because mom, he told her, guess what? Oh, they're at the park and she's pissing in his mouth and yeah, that's the sign shop in the video. All right, guys, I don't have an outro, but if I did, it wouldn't matter because don't make fun of the video. Good night. Oh, I just knocked over this Febreze bottle. That's why I said. But I don't I don't knock over items whenever I talk. When I'm using my hands like this. So when, when I did that, I'm like, yeah, it's time for me to stop talking about this piss cake and time for me to get on my grind, you know. Check this out for sure. Why not? It's kind of wholesome. What? Technically, no. It's not wholesome at all. It, <laughs> this man's out here thinking his friends is getting ether by like <laughs> CEOs and businessmen when it's, just, when it's not true. He NTR'd himself, which, okay. <laughs> he knew they were both in love with him and he only like had corporations of one of them while the other one's in the house. Like, that's like this guy's kind of evil, but not evil like we know evil, but like evil wasn't like maniacal. Tee -hee -hee -hee, that type, type of junk. So the series ended though. So there's no chance of a third episode. There's no chance of, as people are saying here, them meeting together for a family reunion and sharing communicable goods. Not knowing that's going to happen. So yeah. Yeah.